Hello oh, it's Miguel Stan Possible, Miguel's my name is Taffrey16 and welcome back to another reaction video and welcome to this month's still game double header. So this next part, if you've if you're familiar with the channel, you've heard this part before. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't watched my still game reactions before, then this part's for you. So, uh, I used to react to still game very randomly in a sense that I jumped around the show for a couple of years, uh, until I decided to go back and fill in the blanks in order. Uh, so far, we have completed now the first three series. We completed series three last month, and today we'll be completing series four, as there are two episodes from series four that I have not done, which we're, we're going to do in this double header. Series four, episode two, and then after series four, episode four. And first up is series four, episode two, obviously. And it'd be kind of funny if I flipped them, though. <laughs> Wireless. You got a radio show? You about to get jumped or something? Foe! Oh. Tom, what are you in for? Getting fitted by a new pacemaker in the morning. Oh, you're in a hospital. What are you? We've only had that one a couple of years. I know. I took the Grand Wains to one of them laser quests. You know, oh. where the Wains shoot one another with laser beams and yeah. lights flash. This thing went off, it's nut. <laughs> I get cared. Oh, jeez, oh. So that's me then. It's a bastard tea because I was supposed to be going my holidays on Wednesday. Oh, uh, your time shared. Uh, I'm, I'm very sorry, sir, but it's well past visiting time. <laughs> Excuse me, then. <laughs> Don't you recognise my face? Tam Mullen, hospital DJ. Oh, aye. <laughs> I've seen your face on the radio. Beat it. Got him. <laughs> well, I'll be seeing you, fella. I'll be thinking of you. Keep strong. Keep positive. No. So, um, that your timeshare lying empty, is it? <laughs> Dirty bastard. Dirty stinking bastard. Yeah, Dirty you're an asshole. Dirty low order stinking bastard. Dirty low order hoaching stinking bastard. <laughs> bastard. Ah, he's a bastard. Yeah, he's bastard. I might well be a bastard, but in a week's time, I will be a golden brown bastard. Take <laughs> that dying man's holiday off him. He's no dying. He's incapacitated. I'm doing him a favour. Who's swatching, you might call it? Pay the laggard, Bobby. All right. What have I missed? Oh. Well, there's Phil Johnson lying up in the hospital, right? Mm -hmm. And he kind of get going his time share. Well, Tam's hoovered it after him. Dirty, low order sting. <laughs> I'll give him that. <laughs> Aye, good. Because that's you or isn't it, Tam? What? Sponging stuff off the hill. What's wrong with you? Stone deep. Nothing they can do. That's a shame. Give your walkman. Shut up. Who's <laughs> doing your show while you're away? Well, that's a good question, Bobby. Timely, apt. You know what I never do? What's that? Buy Jack and Victor a pint. Would you like a pint, Jack and Victor? Eh? Oh, a nice cold pint. Tasty, frothy. No thanks, no way, Jose. Oh, no. Oh, you're then spinning some records. No. Because then we would be accomplices in you stealing that man's timeshare off him. Kind well, of. I'm due a holiday. I've been up there for two years, nearly every week, playing records for they poor people. I have given tirelessly of myself, and for no reimbursement, apart from tea, sandwiches, and my weight and biscuits. Get a rest. Come on, Jack. They people have got nothing. Lying up there, no knowing what's coming next. Be it good news or bad news. There's no lot of joy in a hospital. A very lonely place if you're not well. My show is a glimmer of hope. Weird, weird point here. I swear the camera was a little, camera work was a little weird in that point because it seemed like 
Jack was about to say something, but then didn't. And it was almost like the camera should have panned to Tam, or the camera shot should have been on... They should have used the cut, because I'm sure they were recording with two cameras, with Tam at the time, but instead they used the cut with Jack, and you could see him, like, about to say something, but then not. I don't know, it was a little weird. A beacon of happiness to a lot of people who need it. I wouldn't have that silly time. You can see him go like... Not by yous and not by anybody. New watch, Tam. John Gilchrist, Ward 10, cancel. <laughs> family size bag of Evo's Navid. That's not a family size bag. Aye, it is. No, it's no. Oh, Jesus, it is. Take them. 80 pence. I'm not getting you 80 pence. That's not a family bag. Oh, Christ. Look. <laughs> this is a regular bag. This is a family bag. I know what a family size bag looks like. I should know. And that's 2B. That's all the way in the right, isn't it, Justin? <laughs> Tried them with vegetables and fish and meat. All he likes is a family bag of Revels. Well, you have the uh, bean art, caramel, coffee, orange, so I suppose all the food groups are represented. <laughs> 80 pence. He had these for his breakfast. Look at the size of it. That's a family bag. That is isn't it. <laughs> No, you're right. That is a full-size family bag. This is for you. A single-parent family bag, 80 pence. <laughs> what are you up in now? What are you doing in there? Hello, Miss Hala Pandi, Mia. Oh, sit in your gate and need that. Oh, come on, my back did a swimming here. Oh, Sophie, you're already done. Fair deal, I'm out here, you. Sorry, Daldi, Maddy, Gus, put up a shotgun on that. Just gonna give the floor it's bash, Navid. My brother, ain't it? When you're needing somebody's in there. That one perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Nina, you are rotten. <laughs> kind of haze here, you stinky boot. <laughs> right, out you come. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> He's got cock blockage. No, 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 no! Oh. oh, I never missed that there. Oh. What's in your bag? Never mind what's in the bloody bag, Isa. Looks like LPs. What's this x ray vision? Aye, that's right, you're correct, it is LPs. Most <laughs> no Victor and I are standing in for Tam at the hospital radio for a week. Oh, that's good of you. I've got LPs on here, I know, good. see? Funny that, ain't it? I mean, what the chances us both standing here by a stack of LPs, eh? <laughs> Aye. Spooky. Come on. My wee dance evening at the community centre. That scene started up again, you see. And we each take turn at bringing our records. That's how I've got the, the LP. LPs. Smash it, Isa. Good. Oh, here you might see Navid up at the hospital. Navid, how was the matter, ma'am? Oh, I couldn't say that. That's a confidential thing, that. A man's health. He couldn't get a pee. <laughs> he just did squeeze and shoving and grunting and not a drop. There are failures. You're such an asshole. I should pattern all this radio business. I'm helping them. Why, help them? What, running about after them like a sort of tea boy? <laughs> <laughs> you mark your diary, you go on my tits, <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, if the boys don't need you, you might like to accompany me to the dance class where I was looking for partners and a big handsome man like yourself. I'd be the envy of all the girls. <laughs> oh, Rose Mary, I love you. <laughs> I'm racking my brains here, Isaac, to come up with reasons why not. Oh, aye, that's right. I've only one leg, I've never liked you, and this just in, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those are valid reasons. <laughs> Good feeling, isn't it, being in the hospital or nothing like you? Aye. Makes you appreciate your health, doesn't it? Aye. Oh, lads. Oh, look at this. 
There's your audience. There's no business like show business. <laughs> Can you help us or what? Hi. Hi, well, come on then. <laughs> hey, hello, Tam. Right, come on, you're late. Sit down. Here. I can only move so fast, to be fair. Oh. And what will you be doing? Stuff. Help. A lackey. What? <laughs> a footman. A toady, if you will. Shut up. Right, Tam. Um, how do I switch this mic on? Well, it doesn't matter how you switch the mic on. You don't need to talk. I never do. Just play some records. Ugh, no talking. My head's full of shite for talking. Ah, <laughs> you've got loads of fish to say. Just there. Uh, Keep it simple. Yeah. When oh, the they're finishes, not. You put another one on. You don't need to talk. They're not oh, going to keep it simple. Apart from you own the hour every hour, you've got to get. This show is brought to you by Lanacare. Oh, here it's coming up. Get a shot. Yeah, right. Um, Mike, is it? This show is brought to you by Lanacare. Ooh, that's good. Uh, right, lads, you're off air at 10. I've got to go and get one of these electrical bug mosquito killer things. I've got one of them. Oh, have you? Could you lend me it? I suppose so. Oh, that's great of you. That's a saving. Right, I'm away. You enjoy yourselves now. <laughs> you should have said no. Well? Well, what? Two teas, please. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, with men your age, it tends to be an enlarged prostate, but at this stage, I wouldn't rule out a stricture or a kidney stone block in your bladder. That's good, doctor, but when can I piss again? Oh, that's what we're going to find out. I need to do an internal examination of your prostate. Oh, oh Jesus. Boy. Up the butthole. Oh, I'm afraid so. <laughs> if you just roll onto your side for me, bring your knees up to your chest. <laughs> And relax. You'll need to relax a wee bit more than that. A bit more than that. I'm trying to relax. There we are. Oi! <laughs> Any joy? I'm just going to press on your prostate. You may feel a slight discomfort. Slight, huh? I'll be the judge of Jesus! <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. Don't worry. We'll get you up to ward and we'll have you fixed in no time. Aye, right, good. Can you mean I'm doing that every time I need a was? <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. <laughs> oh, hello, Hen. How you doing? You'd better be doing Monday. You should be up dancing, Liz. I'm saying Liz here, she should be up dancing, eh? And where's that Ken of yours? He's usually with you. Where's he buggery? <laughs> Amazing good, though. It's not as fun as I thought it was going to be. No. How are we not allowed to talk, Victor? Tam says we've got to talk. Yeah, but Tam's not here. I'm choking to talk. I'm choking to say, hi there, welcome to the Jack Jarvis Show. How is it your show? Well, I'm not being funny, but my name's got Mary a DJ ring to it, hasn't it? Jack Jarvis. So's mine. Victor McDeed. <laughs> no, that's no use. No, see, my name's got two letters the same. That's J.J., correct. Jack Jarvis. Gyrate to Jack Jarvis. It comes off the tug more. I'm Victor McDade, that's your record they played. <laughs> <laughs> the Jack and Victor show. What about the Victor and Jack show? What about the Jack Jarvis and Victor show? 
What about desert island dicks? <laughs> Let's start talking. What do we say? Well, see, that's the thing. Your DJs just talk a lot of shite anyway, didn't they? Aye. Aye. Right, Winston. What? No, no mere tea, no way. No, no, not at all. <clears throat> You've been promoted to the position of collector of requests. Smashing. That's better. Aye. Take that pad and pen and go down all the words and find out what everybody wants to listen to. That's better. Oh, Jack, Lanarkia. Oh. And this programme was brought to you by Lanarkia. Oh, by the way, if you're sitting there wondering, who's that strange voice in the radio? Well, I'll put you straight in the picture. Tam, your usual host, he's away on holiday. But standing in from all this week is me, Jack Jarvis, and my good friend... <laughs> Vic Vaughan. <laughs> Howdy, JJ. Currently circulating the words is our good friend, Winston Ingram, collecting requests for your listening pleasure. For your delectation. Oh. For your enjoyment. Hope you enjoy this. This is vision. Joe Laws with his rendition of Glenn Miller's In the Mood. Hi, thanks for dropping in for dinner. Look at that. She visits, sits for an hour, says nothing. She tans my grapes. It's like a family tree with no names on it. The meat. Have you had your rock? Aye, Winston. Ah, you're looking well. There couldn't have been much to it. No, there was nothing to it. It was a scush. Just three foot of cable jammed up my cock. I was just in the bag for two days. What a laugh. Was that Jack and Victor I heard on the radio? Aye. I'm stoning in for Tam. I'm taking requests. Oh, smashing. I'll take uh, Long and Alishkara. And if they don't have that? Zindagi uh, Iksafara Sohana. Right. <clears throat> uh, MDLs. Anything Berlina Horn? Righto. Yes. Daniel Beddingfield. <laughs> I gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. <laughs> Jesus. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What can I do for you? Have you got Nelson Eddy singing Rosemary? Aye, aye, that we could probably do. How are you keeping? Aye, good. You gotta make this right, dude. You gotta make this right. Can I come in? Aye, aye, sir. You're already in, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know my trouble? Listen, I've got a move up the Clyde Tunnel. I've always been the same. Talk first, listen later. Margaret told me there about your Kenny, Lisa. I'm awful sorry. Aye. He loved this wee class. When we were getting ready, he'd be the one shouting, Come on, come on, get your skates on. I really shouldn't still be coming. You know, my granny and granda loved their garden. When we were wee, they would let you play in it, but you had to be careful, like, as it was pristine. The beautiful flowers all round about it, and the wee lawn was like a putting green. They were rooting it every weekend, pottering about. But when my granda died, well, that was it. My granny wouldn't go out there. She let the garden run to seed. We tried to coax her to keep it nice, but she wasn't interested. Without him there, she didn't want anything to do with it. The place ended up like a jungle, a right mess, you know, covered in weeds. And I remember thinking, if my granda saw that, he'd be fizzing. No angry because the garden was a maze, but angry because she wasn't looking after it like the head. You've got to keep dancing, Liz. Good job. Seriously, good job. Oh, countdown. Seven multiplied by the nine times ten minus the five minus seven. Six one eight. <laughs> 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 
Oh, you bastard, I've used a seven twice. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Winston. Hi, Tam. Where are you? At the airport? No, 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 yet. Eric's given me a lift in a minute. Oh, well, that's a taxi fare saved. Well done. What is it? Here, do you have any sun cream? Sun cream? Oh, I've given you everything else. Towels, shoes, case, sunglasses, the lot. Chase yourself. Yeah, but, but you know that stuff's 8 99 a bottle. I'm fair skinned. I'll burn up. <laughs> 8 99 oh, Well, keep your bonnet on. No, come on now. What about that stuff you put in your head at the bowling? Factor 25. I got it for the chemist. The chemist? You better out my road, the chemist. Right, fine. Come round and get it. That's the game. See you in a minute or two. Oh no, are you gonna fuck with him? <laughs> yes. Oh no, mayonnaise? Oh. It's now coming up to 7.30. Time to hop on the feel-good bus for a trip down memory lane. Jack! <laughs> You what you want, but you got to go home with me. I forgot some good old love, and then I got some in store. When I get through throwing it on you, you got to come back for more. Boys and things will come by the dozen, but that ain't nothing but drugs to love. That's how we learned that. Little hate thing let me like show. to count, cause mama, I'm so sure hard to hell and I yes around. Than word, and I'm a man with a great experience. <laughs> I know you got you another man, but I can love you better than him. Take my hand, don't be These old people are gonna be so sad with mayonnaise before he comes back. I'm advertising love. <laughs> so what the fuck is your ass with me? Boys will come a dime by the dozen, but that ain't nothing but ten cent love. Pretty little. Thing that was for Sheena, who's getting out this evening. Sheena Darlin, we hope we don't see you back in here again too soon. So, uh, what is it you're saying to people who are suggesting that the health service aren't doing enough? Well, the waiting list for operations is getting shorter. Well, I've got a pal, for instance, that's been waiting three years for a hip replacement. Tom, um, what are you saying to him? Well, statistically speaking, that's... Ach, away and don't talk a lot of shite. <laughs> Now, here's a mention for a good friend of ours, Navid. If you ever find yourself in Craig Lang, be sure to pop into Harid's General Store for your fruit, veg, bread and pipe tobacco. And, of course, a warm, friendly smile. That's my shop. That's my shop. But don't expect to see him in the shop for the next few days, because he's in here with pisser problems. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everything all right there? Aye, they're shifting me. Want to keep an eye on me. What about my song? Your song? <laughs> Nelson Eddy. Rosemarie. Oh, Jesus, aye. Did they not play that? I'll look into that for you. Good luck. It's uh, Winston, isn't it? Aye, hen. It would be good if you could play that record for Tommy. Today. How? We're not sure he's going to make it through the night. Oh. All right. <sighs> Sorry, Winston. We haven't got it. That's how we've not played it. Oh, shite. Could we not just play him something else? Well, he's asked for it. And, well, looks like he's going to snuff it the night. Christ. Elsa and Eddie. Let's see, uh, that's the 1930s, isn't it? Aye. How does it go again? Uh, <clears throat> oh, Rosemary, I love you. I'm always dreaming. Hot arms, Nettie. <laughs> 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 
I'll be back in half an hour. This is kind of a wholesome ass episode. D Day or P Day? <laughs> P Day. <laughs> right, come on now. Don't let me down. My Aside from Naveed's down. dick problems. Oh, yeah, beauty. <laughs> and sea fishing. <laughs> Commence fishing. <laughs> oh, yes. I fish it well. Like a man should. But I am the prince of fish. <laughs> When the princess finished pushing, can the duke take a dump? <laughs> Not so fast. We're doing something for you, but what are you doing for us, good looking fellow like you? Grim, that, eh? What's that? I've well, been told that you're not going to see the morning. Aye. Oh, no. That's me new. It's happening. Look at the nurse. No, stay. Stay here. It's been a long road and we've walked together. And I'm just sorry. You'll have to walk the last bit yourself. I've got it. What's his name, Winston? Tommy. This one goes out to Tommy. Oh, Rosemary, I love you. I'm always dreaming of you. No matter what I do, I can't forget you. Man. I wasn't a fan of that, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't a fan of that that end gag there. That was a great ending to a great episode and they completely ruined it. Absolutely ruined it. Oh Jesus, that's him. Seduce, 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 seduce. <laughs> Welcome back, Mayonnaise Boy. You know, I gotta be honest. Um, that might be the first time I've seen this show get something wrong. Like, that was... So unnecessary. Like, it, it, well, that was such a fun episode. They built a good storyline with that. And, I mean, he died listening to the song he wanted to hear. And they killed it for a cheap gag. That that that's honestly the first time I've seen the show get something majorly wrong. That was massively disappointing. That ending. That was just, jeez. They 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 they, com 
I was about to talk about how this was one of my favorite episodes of the show. Out is one of the best episodes I think I've seen. And they killed it for a cheap gag. Fucking brutal. Anyway, ring. Am I a movie star? Uh huh. I'm a male. Uh huh. Do I ride a horse? Uh huh. Is it a white horse? Mm -hmm. Do I have an unquenching thirst for revenge? Mm -hmm. Am I an angry orphan with a quiet brooding and internal sadness that, when triggered by the right circumstances, <laughs> can erupt in a frightening rage? <sighs> Am I the sensational Amita Bachchan in Zanjir? Mm -hmm. Get it up here! <laughs> it in. Seven. Seven questions, Meena. It's supposed to be 20 questions, but I never need 20. I can date in seven. That's got to be a record. I don't want to play with you anymore, Meena. Because you're shite at it, that is why. <laughs> you're a diddy. It took you 58 questions to get into the Gandhi. Blameless bastard. I retire. Champion. Oh boy, that suits. Can I help you, gentlemen? Uh, I don't think so, no. How's that? Well, for a start, your fruit and veg don't look too healthy. Your potatoes are starting to sprout. A bit two weeks old. Oh, is that right? Well, here's what to do. Piss off to the Asda and get all the fresh food and veg you like. Sorry, we're getting off on the wrong foot here, Mr. Harid. My name's Donald Weir. I'm from Spire Stores. We were looking at shops in the Craig Lang area with a view to bringing one of them into the Spire family. Spire? Putting the U in produce? <laughs> Gentlemen, accept my apologies. Do these people start Hyperdales, I bet? Mina! You asshole! I told you to chuck all that shitey stuff out yesterday and replace it with the fresh, inviting, tasty stuff. She's new. You know how fancy? Yes. What would that be? A game of ducks. <sighs> Mr. Jarvis, the gauntlet is down once more. Yes, the gauntlet is down. And furthermore, beside it, I place one shiny golden nugget. There is mine to match it. Indeed a king's ransom. Barkeep fetcheth the arrows. That pass, pish. Shut it up, you prick, and give us the darts. <laughs> King Sir approacheth the Oki. Stand back, sir, so that I might take aim. Oneth you go, besteth of luck. Naineth danger. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> I can't do this, I'm it. Easy, Arthur, it's an accident. Jack, didn't he mean it? Huh? <laughs> no respect, Arthur, you've got plenty of pardon. You don't even feel this. Just take it easy. Is it out? Aye, that's it out. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Bobby, get me a half quick. You all right? I am all right. I'm better than all right. Oh, uh, what's up with you? Look at your good suits, boys. Uh, who's dead now? Nobody. It's a wedding. Oh. Tam's getting married to the librarian. Oh, my to God. Who? To who? Calm your beans, old boy. To what? To who? <laughs> <laughs> that Francis one? Aye. Right. They've been getting a bit together for a wee while now. The one he beat you out for, Winston. Mm -hmm. Good luck to her. Yep. I remember correctly. <laughs> <laughs> so when's the do? Well, give him a chance, Eric. He's only just told me there the new. He's on his way out of the library to pop the question. Ho oh, oh, ho! I'd like to see that. Aye, so would I. Oh, that's lovely. I'd love to see that. Listen to you. That's terrible. That. I mean, that's a an intimate thing. That asking for a female's hand in marriage. You can't just get charging her there, poking your noses in. Yes, you can. Well, it's a private situation. In a public building. Drink up, yeah. drink up. <laughs> it is a public building. So were you. Eh? Hey? Sitting there with that book open at the one page for 20 minutes. Uh, well, you could say I'm preoccupied. Oh, I? With what? Francis, the librarian. We've kind of been seeing each other for a while, you know, and, well, I, I was going to ask her to marry me. That's grand. Good for you, son. I love to see that. 
It's just you sitting, plucking up the courage. <laughs> I'm picking my moment here. <laughs> I used to be a fireman. Oh, I Met my really? wife in the station she worked there. Took me a bloody year to work up the courage to ask her to marry me. Fifty years now. There you are smashing. Nice looking girl, that. Right. A mousy type. Quiet. Probably roars like a bear when she comes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's the type. You have to watch the quiet ones. <laughs> Good God! I did not see that coming. Oh, Francis? Hello, darling. Francis, I was thinking. You and I have been out a couple of years now. Yes. yes. Oh, God. And you see, two can live as cheaply as one. They do indeed. You're rattling about in your big flat, and I'm rattling about in my house. Uh-huh. Well... <laughs> you guys are fuckers. I was wondering... <laughs> I was wondering if... Will... Just do it, you pussy! Will you marry me? Yes, Tom. Oh, sweet. I'll marry you. <laughs> Ten. Ten to ten. Yeah, that's good. I think he's just ten minutes to fill the read in about Tam. What eyes I get a sin. I love sticking to that Gabby bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, David! Gentlemen. Where are you hear this, by the way? This is indeed a belter. Ta Hold that thought. Oh, it's Isa. Isa? <laughs> Hello? Tam! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Married at his age, huh? Quality. <laughs> anyway, what are you saying? What's it about? Are you shutting away in front of me there? <laughs> Got him. Stutz. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus. What's going on here? I'm joining the spire chain. Oh, is that it? Aye. Uh, well, I didn't have you doing as a sellout, David. What do you mean, sellout? Hooking up with Mr. Big. All oh, these shops are the same. Aye. I liked it the way you had it. At least you knew where everything was. Aye, Spire shops are all faceless. You know, your shop had. I don't know, David. Personality. Aye, uh, that's what it was. It was personal. Personally, I couldn't give a rat's ass. <laughs> this for me is but acceptance. It's a graduation. To know I'm no a daft wee shop, but a shop worthy of the Spire name. Look at me. You are looking at a man who is now eligible for a lottery machine. Oh, oh. that's good, right enough. <laughs> take it on here, eh? Oh, it's great, isn't it? Philip Merkin and Vanny are big supermarkets and they're gonna tile the flare. Oh, no, but I know. Tiles are a lot nicer to mop. Oh, and do you know what they're gonna give us? Do you know? Do you? What's that? Ban of the big yellow plastic things that says caution, wet floor, so you don't fall in your arse. <laughs> One of the big yellow things that you can move about. Aye. And you just leave it there till that bit's dry, and then you move it to the next bit till that bit's dry. Aye. Like a triangle sort of pyramid shape. You are taking the piss now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the last of that, Mr. Harid. What? Selling adult magazines. I'm afraid Spire do not trade in pornographic material. Oh, that's too bad. Still, eh? Who to the old? Congratulations, Mr. Wilson. You're the last person to buy wank mags from my shop. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Rod Hull, an emu. Oh, that's a cracker, eh? Except I think we've got more chance of sticking our hand up a bird than you have. <laughs> Two pints of brick. Ah, oh, Jack Victor. Hi, Tom. How's your plans coming along there? Ah, uh, good. That's the registry booked. So keep Friday free. There'll be about ten of us or so. That's if you're coming. You're uh, game uh, already. Right. Right. We're coming over there, boy. Wow. On a wee honeymoon. Not back to my house, lay low for a week. <laughs> Smashing. I've heard it's lovely this time of year. <laughs> Grub. Oh, well, you'll have to have a do. Because I'm not putting my good tie on unless I'm getting gravy down it. Well, that's his quandary, isn't it? He can't decide between the Labour Club or here at the Klansman. 
That's right. <coughs> See, the Labour Club is looking for 450 a head, whereas Bobby, for pie and beans, is looking for a pound a head. Hmm. Oh, well. You've made your mind up already. <laughs> pie and beans all round in the convivial atmosphere of the clansmen. Ah, uh, very glam, Tam. Who's doing your cake, Greg's the baker's? <laughs> no, that would cost money. <laughs> Isa's baking it. Oh, here. Oh. On to more serious matters. <clears throat> the appointing of a best man. Ooh. Victor? Yes, Sam? It's no you. <laughs> <laughs> you were a candidate, but you're a, you're a big bottle merchant. Your ass would collapse before the speech. <laughs> Rubbish, I tell a smashing joke. It's gotta be Winston. go, then. <laughs> They're like frenemies. My mate Tam, he's so tight-fisted, he dropped a pound note one time. And when he bent down to pick it up, he dropped a pound coin one time. <laughs> and he hit him so on the back of the heap. So <laughs> yeah. And now to Jack. I've known you a long time, Jack. You certainly have, Tam. But it's no you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, no. You drag the ass out of everything. But we did by the time you finished talking. <laughs> You're a cheeky bastard. The floor is yours, so where you go. Hey, my pipe. Um. Unaccustomed, uh, what does he say again? Unaccustomed as I, as I am to... I've bought myself there. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's Bobby. Bobby? I'm no doing the pies for any less than a pound a head. <laughs> well, the natural choice is Winston. Fourth, eh? Jeez, oh, I'm flattered. Fourth. Actually, you're fifth. He asked me, and I tell me, piss off. <laughs> I'm spiting myself, I'm still honoured. So tell me, what exactly are the duties of the best man at a miserable bastard's wedding? Oh, well, apart from the speech, you've got to look after the ring. <laughs> That's a good one. Winston looking after Tam's ring. <laughs> Winston. Tam's. Ring. You've got the ring. Yep. You have stayed, Bobby. Is that an old ring? Oh, it's an old ring. It's his old wedding ring. Yeah, dirty oh. bastard. Well, a ring's a ring. A bit of Judah glitter, that'll be brand new. <laughs> Let me get this clear. You want me to hand over to you and your new wife an old ring that your ex-wife threw at you for shagging some lassie after buses? <laughs> a ring is an unbroken circle, Winston. It has no story, no history. Oh, well, it does if I tell Francis. I'm no doing that. Uh, Winston's right. A wedding ring's an important thing. Yeah. Get your ass down that high street and buy that lassie a new ring. Yeah, carpet bagger. Aye, where's the sentiment, you shit pot? Tom, glad I found you. This best man thing. Can he do it? I'm going to do it on social and Friday morning. <laughs> <laughs> are we buying individual gifts or are we clubbing? Well, definitely club. Because this club will no cost us a thing. How do you mean? Because the gift we're giving him, Jack, is a gift in kind. A favour. We're going to video his wedding for him. Ah. Oh, aye, aye. Well, that'll get us off the hook right enough. Just go down to Curry's and rent a video camera machine or whatever. What are you talking about? I've got one. Well, I see you have, I. Go and get it. Hello, Winston, the way in. I'll be back in a sec. <sighs> what type of lava that was? Oh, aye. Do you know that that tight bastard tried to buy a silver ring for 16 quid? He was going to tell her it was white gold. <laughs> See, you don't get your horn in your pocket. I'm going to knock you out. Did he? Aye. Aye, nice one, Tay. Gold. 18 carat. Wow. He's gonna, you're going to lose it, oh aren't boy. you? boy. That must have burnt him. Aye. Aye. He was nearly greeting. Oh, shaking and everything. <laughs> How do you do, the boys? Say hello, you're in candid camera. Hello! That's a bollocks, that, isn't it? Aye. That's brilliant, that. What are you doing with that? Hey. We're going to daytime a wedding video. How long have you had that? Uh, I don't know, a couple of years. It's the JVC Handicam. <laughs> don't leave the cap on. It's a handy wee thing, that, isn't it? <laughs> How are you getting on with your speech? Aye, good aye. Listen here, that's what I meant to ask you. What was the name of the street that Tam was brought up in? Oh, aye, Brogan Street. I need to make that. Oh, aye. Right. That's lovely, eh? What is that, gold? Uh, 18 carat, aye. Mm. Do that thing. 
Oh, no. Come on, Jack. It's funny, dear. I guess it right. <laughs> What's going on? Shut up. Watch this. On you go, Jack. Where did it go? <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> That's brilliant, that. Here, you should do that in the day. Go and do it again. <laughs> Very good. Give me it. <laughs> I do it. Hold on. What's this time? <laughs> hey, I, I, Jack's here and all. What do they think of the ring? Uh, delicious. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll see you in the plans, man. Took that bastard thing off. <laughs> oh my god. What are you gonna do now? Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. Ah, uh, look at that. Two minutes. Hot dog. Oh, ready to go. Mina, you want a hot dog? No. Ah, uh, good. It's about time you lost a bit of weight from that gut of yours. Hi, <laughs> oh, lovely. Well, that's roast snack. I never take a hot dog. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, four Stella, please. I need others. <sighs> Brian Semple, Spire Customer Services. You're not allowed to trade liquor after ten, Mr. Harid. But it's only two minutes past ten, you know. Yep, two minutes past ten. <laughs> if I'd been CID, Spire would have lost their license. Give us another chance. What? <laughs> I'll put the cans back. You ask me for them again. Right. <laughs> Four cans of Stella, please. Four cans of Stella. What kind of place do you think this is? This is a Spire store. That sort of behaviour will not be tolerated. You will buy alcohol at a responsible hour, not at two minutes past ten. Now get to it, you alky bastard. Aspect. Remember, Mr. Harid, you carry the Spire name now. It's your job to vigorously protect that brand name. This is not going to last hear you. past the next twelve minutes. Oh my god. It's a cocktail, Jack. Olive oil, white paraffin, castor oil, and prune juice. It's called a jollop. This is what they give the horses when they're no shite and regular. This will blow the bastard through. <laughs> I drink it. No, Jack, you have to rub it on your tummy. Of course you have to drink it. Down the hatch, dumbass. Just do it in one go. There you go. Almost. <laughs> Getting there. Got it. <clears throat> that wasn't too bad. <laughs> well, see, when I was a wee boy, see if ever you were constipated, my grandmother would get. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> How are you getting on? Ah. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> movement, yes. Is the ring in amongst it? Eh. Uh, well, I'd have to sieve through it. <laughs> you need to help me. Sorry, Jack. I do believe it was John Paul Sartre who said, through his own shite, a man must wade alone. <laughs> Carrie Grant. Fine. Where's that ring you pair of bastards? Shh. I'm doing. Jack's working on it. You better have it for the morning. Winston. Right, gents. Now, as you know, it's customary on a stag night to have a wee bit of entertainment. So, best of order, please, and a warm welcome for Lolita. <laughs> you paid for a stripper. I yeah. paid for it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Who's Tan? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
until we can pop it. <laughs> you got a nice frock for the wedding, Isa? Aye, I've got to run home and get changed after I've done here. We're looking forward to it, aren't we, Minna? I'm going to get a lot of money. At least it gets us to the shop for a couple of hours, you morning faced boot. A boot time and all. Boss is freezing here. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Where do I hang my coat? We are the. I. What's this? I'm Jerry, Mr. Harit. I'll be here for a couple of weeks. What for? Have they no phone? Well, you're on probation because of the booze and the wet floor. Got to keep an eye on things. Where's your jacket? It's over there on the stool. I just took it off. We're not going to a wedding. Connie shut the shop for a couple of hours. I know the day you're not. Eh? Spire's policy is to be available to the customer between the hours of 7 in the morning and 11 at night. I know that, but I... No buts! You don't work for yourself now, Mr. Harid. You work for Spire. Oh, I. And you... don't work for Spire. What's that, son? That customer services agent who slipped and fell on your wet floor in here could just as easily have been a customer, which could just as easily have resulted in a lawsuit. Now, I'm afraid that's a sackable offence. Well, now, that's wrong. You've got soup at 59 pence. It should be 49 pence. And your orange juice should be on a special. Dear, oh dear. Now, you listen here. Isa's worked here for 12 years. 12 years, eh? You'll have records then, Mr. Harid. She'll be on your books. You on the books, eh? No. I didn't think so. No, you can't just walk in here and... No, hey. No, it's, it's all right, Navid. Uh, I'll get my coat. Probably no right for this place now, anyway. Hey? Maybe he's gonna knock this dude out. I can see you're a bit shook up. Now, that's only natural. It's always the case when we take over a shop, there's teething problems. People in your situation can't adapt to the changes. The best thing to remember is you are no longer you. You are Agent 357. Give him the one, too. No. No, you're right. I see what you're saying. But, uh... You know what the problem is? What's that? I hate being Agent 357. At <laughs> 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 any time of your life, it's possible to find love. And for most of us, it comes early. But for some of oh, us, it like comes shit. a little later. Marriage in Scotland may either be religious or civil. Both are of the same legal standing. And Tam and Francis have chosen... Jack! Uh, Jack, for God's sake, it's now or never! I'm trying, you don't bloody hell, do you? We'll try harder! Mm -mm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wash it. Bingo! <laughs> Oh, wash it! Oh! <laughs> no. The ring, Didn't... please. <laughs> oh, yes. Aye. Uh, the ring. <clears throat> A lovely thing, the ring. <laughs> uh, A circle of love. <laughs> uh, on your finger. Uh, the... the... Loop of long life. <laughs> <laughs> the hoop of happiness. <laughs> the ring. ring. Ring, ring. Why don't you give me <laughs> ring? Yes, ring. quite. Uh, could we have the ring now, please? I now pronounce you man and wife. Wow, that actually worked out. Hey! 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 Hey!
Bobby! What? I'm lagging the heavy. In a minute. I've got a lemonade here, Bobby. Well, hold your horses. Where's my pie and beans? Shut up, Eric. I'm going as fast as I can here. Eh? <laughs> <clears throat> thank you very much, everybody. Now, I I'm sure you'll agree we're all having a smashing day, and uh, just a quick thank you to Bobby there, who assures me everybody will get their pie and beans just as soon as he's finished cooking them one at a time in that shitey microwave of his. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to go into a big hotel in the town for the meal, but then Tam saw the bill. <laughs> and what with him being so... Miserable. Tight ass! <laughs> Thrifty will do, thank you. Quiet at the back. So, we find ourselves here at the Clansman. But just to put your mind at ease, ladies, Bobby assures me there is a brand new toilet roll in the ladies' toilet for the first time in six yeah. years! Hey. 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 And so, <laughs> to your Tam. Well, what can we say about Tam, eh? I mean, I wouldn't say Tam was miserable, but he once dropped a pound coin and when he bent down to pick it up, it hit in the back of the heat! <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of stories I could tell about Tam, but uh, I suppose the one that springs to mind is the one when we were both doing our national service. We were posted to Frankfurt. Now, that was at a time when a certain Elvis Aaron Presley was also oh, in Frankfurt. Yeah. Well, you can imagine, the place was jumping with fraud lines. But Tam, ever the wily old fox, he was aye, aye good at the American accent, you see. So he says to this lassie at the bar, yeah, yeah, I, I can Elvis. He's a, he's a good pal of mine, you know. So, so there you have it, Tam. Back up in the hotel room with this fraud line, he whips his uniform off. I, I hope you don't mind me telling this, Francis, but he was a young man at one point. So anyway, Tam whips off the uniform, the fraud line, she whips off her drawers and her knickers and wallop, full set, big cock, hairy balls. <laughs> <laughs> I've mere stories, I've got, I've got mere stories about Tam, but... Uh, I've said enough there. Oh, I'm out of water. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't smell it. Bam, 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 bam. That was nice, that wasn't it? Congratulations, oh. Tam and Francis, on your wedding. I've done this. We hope you enjoyed the tape. This is me and Jack, the day before your wedding. Oh. What's happening in the bathroom? Let's go see, shall we? You guys are assholes. He deserves it, though, just because he's Tam. You see, that was a fun one. And obviously the difference is that was a comedy episode through and through. And I, I know it's a comedy show, but man, I, I still can't believe they killed the payoff of that first episode when they really didn't need to. Like, I understand it's a comedy show. I get it. But they really didn't fucking need to do that. Like, you could have done a comedy gag with a different character in a different way. You know? Like, like, or you don't... I mean, they did at the end. The post credit scene with, with Tam being a sunburnt bastard. You know, you could have... Or you could have done a gag. You could have cut to a gag with Tam in Barbados or whatever he went to pouring mayonnaise on himself. You know? Like, that could have been your end comedy gag if you wanted to do something. You didn't have to ruin the emotional plot line you built that whole episode for a cheap laugh that sullied the character you built up the whole episode. You know? Like, that's... That's fucking lame, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's fucking lame. That really... That the end of that first episode really put a sour taste in my mouth. 
it was the first, uh, yeah, I think it's the first time that I've seen that the show really got something wrong. They really didn't need to do that. Uh, second episode uh, was great, though. I, uh, I <laughs> again, because it was comedy through and through. And I mean, we all knew that Winston, or that Winston, the Naveed thing with the, with the safe line, I forget what they're called, the, the, the Selka, I already forgot the name, the, the chain wasn't going to work. I was kind of hoping he'd knock the guy out, though, just because it would have been funnier. Um, so, we have now completed the first four seasons, or series, of Steel Game. Uh, next month, so next month we'll be doing episodes two and three of series five. From series five, I've completed episodes one, five, and six, and from series six, I've completed episodes one, five, and seven. Uh, and of course, I've not done any yet from series seven, eight, or nine, and regardless of the reception to them, I will be doing those, but not after I have finished the original run of the show. That is it for me today, Log. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, and everything else, they're all in the video description down below, as well as the names of all my patrons. Thank you to all my patrons also for supporting me and my channels. If you didn't know, you'd be patron me for as little as dollar one pound, and you get access to the reaction videos, as well as the reading your comments up to a day early, sometimes more. For that being said, though, my name is Taffrey. Seems my, uh, what is it? What, what are we on? Is this 32 and 33? I think. Reactions is still game, and I'll see, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.